Since the dawn of the space age, amateur rocket builders have been dreaming of reaching space. As soon as I drove up, some big giant rocket was taken off, and my first thought was that can't possibly be legal. We basically tested the ignition system. Thomas Atchison heads Rocket Mavericks, a nonprofit educational organization based at Moffett Field. The group is establishing a space program to inspire students to pursue science, technology, engineering, and math. Oh, look at that thing. Join Quest for a most unusual dinner party. The menu includes crickets, grasshoppers, and mealworms. Look, she wants me to eat her. <laughs> Entomophagy, or the eating of insects, may seem like yet another Bay Area food fad. But 80% of the world regularly eats the most abundant animal life on Earth. These are the locusts. They're huge. I prefer them barbecued. From the time an embryo is three weeks old, the heart never stops working to keep us alive. But if children are overweight, they double their risk of heart disease later in life. Here, that's how much sugar is in a whole bottle of Coke. Research has found that obese children who lose weight might eliminate their extra risk of suffering from diabetes and damaged blood vessels as adults. Go! Jump, 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 jump. Heart disease kills more Americans than any other cause of death more than cancer, car accidents, or AIDS. On this Quest special, find out how the chances of surviving a heart attack depend on how fast you get to the operating table. There's an adage that we use in cardiology that time is muscle. And finally, see how doctors may one day be able to rebuild damaged hearts with a single injection. My name is Amy Gottliff, Conservation Director at the Oakland Zoo. The Oakland Zoo supports a lot of projects in Africa. So snares are set by people. They're trying to usually catch something to eat, like a little pig or a little deer. But accidentally, chimpanzees or other animals will walk through those snares and will catch a limb, an arm, or a foot in the snare and be injured or potentially killed. What the Badongo Snare Removal Project does to help those chimps and help the situation is that they create a relationship with those poachers, with those hunters. They try to communicate and gain trust. It is usually an ex-hunter that they hire to be a patroller or a snare remover. Every hunter who signs off that they will become an ex-hunter will get two female goats. They'll get training on how to take care of them and training on how to sell their meat and they'll also get a date with a male goat so they can have babies. Protecting a species like a chimpanzee is not just about guarding that animal, but about really working with the local people and the habitat. We are at a critical time in the Earth's natural history. It's also a critical time to be exploring new models of conservation and new ways for humans and wildlife and habitats to all live together. I'm trying to understand how a person balances on a bicycle. It just seems like a silly little problem that why the hell are you studying how a person balances on a bike, you know? If we understand better from an engineering and mathematical perspective how that works, we may be able to change the bicycle maybe into a new form, into something different that has properties that we, we desire more, maybe more stability, for example, or, or handleability. I think the main thing that we've discovered about the bicycle is its complexity and how not just one thing explains how, why it behaves. It's a complex interaction of many, many things. In 2006, marine biologists embarked on an ocean expedition 80 miles southwest of Monterey to the 26-mile-long Davidson Seamount. When I tell you about our first time seeing the Davidson Seamount, I still get chills about it. After two hours of going down through the black, as the remotely operated vehicle approaches, out of the shadows come these huge corals. 
you know, imagine 4,000 feet deep, freezing water, and the beauty that we see. We didn't know there are coral gardens down below that are like undersea forests. The history of humanity is about exploring, but there's still a lot of exploration to be done. So we have to go down there with cameras, remotely operated vehicles, and observe what's there. And we can find new species, spectacular new forms on the seafloor. Exploration is not over, it's just starting with the technology we have.